there everybody we're now on our last video on the theorem and on the theorems of number theory we're still in divisibility theory and the fundamental fundamental theorem of arithmetic so this is theorem number four again we say this is number four because we're going to use this as a mark in the future theorem so we say this formally let a b and c be integers then if a divides b then a divides bc um maybe i'll need to put some comma here then if a divides b then a divides both or a divides b times c okay again if a divides b then a divides b times c so we're going to give a proof for this okay so we're going to use the same old process we did for the last three videos okay so again um, let's say that um, x divides y so if this happens so the other term of from saying this is x is a factor of y so therefore we can say this implies that y is equal to x multiplied by a certain j okay wherein this j is in the integers again since x is a factor of y meaning x is just one factor there's another factor in such if we're going to multiply this x by that by this factor j it will give us y so we're using this concept so since we're given a divides b, so since since a divides b, then there exists some m in the integers such that um, b, okay, a is a factor times this certain m. Meaning, if we're going to multiply this a by an exact m, a certain m, this will give us the value of b. The product b okay now we want to show uh, we want to show that a divides b c so we want to show we want to show here show that a divides b c okay so so we're going to um do something with our b c okay from this part okay so um we can make use of the other line because it's going to be long bc okay is equal to since we know that b is equal to am so let's substitute the value of b here to this b over here so what we have is a times m times c okay so we're going to make use of the associative property of multiplication again so by associativity associativity activity associativity just to make sure i spell that right by associativity we can say that um, maybe on the next line we can say that uh bc let's write this again is equal to a times m times c is equal to a times the quantity of m c okay m c so therefore, that is, we're going to make use again of the this part and this part saying that BC is equal to A times the quantity of MC. Okay, so that is A multiplied by this something is equal to BC. So we're, we're very near to our proof. So we just need to prove that this MC is part of the integers. What we're going to do is by closure property of multiplication. So by closure... property of multiplication okay since we say that m is an integer and also we have let this in our theorem that c is also an integer so m is an integer c is, c is an integer integer so therefore it follows by closure laws that their product is also an integer Oops. Their product is also an integer, integer. So, so we say that MC, MC, let's call this Q. Their product is equal is an element of the integers. So hence, BC is equal to A times Q.
BC is equal to AA times Q. That is, that is, A divides, A divides BC. And this is the one, the thing that we want to prove. Okay, that's QED already. Okay, so how does this end up with this, sir? Okay, so we have A divides BC, meaning A is a factor of BC, and we can show here that A multiplied by a certain Q will give us BC. So indeed, A is a factor of BC. So let's give a wrap up for this theorem 4. Okay, so for theorem 4, we say, we state that a, B, and C are all integers, then if A divides B, then A divides B times C. So how do we prove this? So first we state that if A divides B, therefore we can, there exists some M in such that, in such that M, this M multiplied by the factor A will give us this special B, this unique B. Okay. So we want to show that A divides B, C, so we start with the B, C. Um, this, uh, substitute the B as AM by associati associativity, we we change the grouping, which will not change the factor, the product rather, will not change the result. So A times the quantity of MC, that is BC is equal to M, A times MC. What we did is we equated this part by this part of the equation. Okay, so by closure laws, we say that this MC is part of the integers in such a way that um, MC is equal to Q. So we let MC to be to be equal to Q that is part of the integers. Hence, there is a certain Q. In such a way, if we're going to multiply this Q to the A, it will give us BC. That is, A is a factor of BC or A divides BC. Okay, so that's the end of our theorem 4. And I hope you got or understood the theorem so well. So we, if, if not, you can just rewatch and replay this video. Okay, so I hope you like this video and you subscribe to my channel. There will be more of this that I will be uploading so, so that you'll be updated. So thank you very much and see you soon. Bye!